G'day everyone. Here we have Lockwood. Now, when I first started <coughs> in this uh, hobby of Locksport, I uh, I had one of these, this one here, and I couldn't pick it open. So I decided to butcher it and uh, I tried to make a, a cutaway but it didn't work all the pins and springs were all ground with the disc grinder and they all fell out but I just watched a video there of Bosnian Bill talking about shielded and unshielded padlocks well I tried to do that thing with this one as well when I couldn't pick it I resorted to the old I don't know what you call it, stick pick, whatever you call it and I tried to do what he was talking about, but I could never do it. it. It just would not grab anything. So after I cut it all away, I cut all this out as well to uh, find out how it actually works. Well, with this one, you can, as you can see, you get the, you can get your your key in or whatever. But it, turn the turn the mechanism, but. You can't get any further than that because here is a little plate. Now I know this is fairly common to all you people that know everything there is to know about locks. But you know, after watching Bosnian Bill's video I thought, well, you know, perhaps I'll put this up. He was talking about shielded and unshielded. Well that's a lockwood. Now I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, I think you can. There's all scratch marks there. <laughs> so you can see where here 12 or 18 months ago when I first started this sport, this hobby, I was trying to open it like we used to open them when I was a boy, you know. But it didn't work. So uh, that is preventing the, uh, the stick pick from going up and triggering that mechanism he's talking about, like so. If I trigger that, Well, it's probably knackered now because I butchered this lock. <laughs> but uh, that's the idea. Probably won't go back in properly now because this lock is stuffed. But you get the idea anyway. That should go back in. Like so, there you go, it's locked in again. So yeah, you can't actually get the, the thing up here to pull that activator actuator back because that plate is locked in now I thought well all right fair enough but you think you would still find the edge well there's a little rise there I hope you can see that you'll see that there's a little rise there well, inside there <coughs> where that's located You'll probably never see that though. There's, there's a groove running up there where that little rounded bit fits in. And I would assume that that little piece there is directly in line with your bloody stick pick. So there's no way you can grab an edge because that little rise bit that's exactly where well, you can see the marks. That's exactly where the stick pick hits and you can't get in there. So somebody's been pretty clever and worked out if they have just a straight edge, you can still get in there. But if they put a rise on there and an indent, a groove in the other part, that will fit in and consequently you can't get your stick pick up there. It hits that plate and skids all the time. So, uh, I don't know if that's of any interest to anybody. I found it interesting. It's quite funny. I watched his video tonight, in fact, when he was talking about his shielded locks and stuff, and I thought, well, yeah, well, I remember doing that, you know, when I first started playing around with this hobby. So I thought I'd drag it out and uh, and just show you what, what, uh, what goes on. There's no way. Well, I mean, that moves now because I've ground it all out. But there's no way you can get up there because that little rounded part in the middle 
is exactly where your pick would go. So somebody was fairly clever working that out. Okay, well that's all I wanted to do. Thanks for watching that. Hope it was of some use to somebody. Okay, hooroo.